G'day boys and girls and welcome back to my channel. Stemjager here and we're bringing you a tier 8 replay today um, from Fiora Tank Girl. Uh, she's a fellow YouTuber who um, we both got in contact with each other and uh, said hello and said would you like to basically um, uh, view, show one of my replays if I show one of yours. I said sure, why not? And that goes out to anyone out there who has a YouTube channel who with what's, doesn't matter what size you are, you can also contact me and we'll do a swap. Um, and then we'll give each other free advertising, which is always good. Um, Fiora is playing on the map Redshire in her tier 8 um, American uh, medium tank, the M26 Pershing. Named after the uh, World War One General, General Pershing. Um, he, she has the uh, 90mm gun, which is quite decent. It has 180 um, normal AP pen, as you can see here. And under the premium rounds, it has 268, which is amazing for its here. It's almost, that's almost, um, in f no, no, that's not almost double, sorry. That is quite a lot more either way. So she's spotting, uh, well she's not, she's not just spotting, she's shooting at some tanks over there. And she's seen a 3601H. Now, uh, he's no longer lit, but she decides to take a shot anyway. And she's rewarded with a kill. So that's, uh, that's her first kill. This is a very short game, by the way, and you will, um, I think you'll enjoy... Uh, Fiora's uh, very aggressive style. She's quite the aggressive tanker, and she's also very good. If you check out her um, stats on Watt Labs, you'll see why. So she's gone to the middle of the map, and this is the best. Well, obviously it's in Canada. This is the best place to go. And she's not capping. She's decided to overrun the cap and start um, causing trouble for the people um, that would be able to come towards the cap. So she sees a KV-4, takes a shot. Now she knows that she's not going to be able to pen that tank with her AP round, so she switches to her really high penetrating um, APCR. Now this guy, I'm fairly certain, does not know that Fiora is here because he just stops. And this is, a, this is a thing for you tankers out there. If you don't know where you're being shot from, look at the indicator on your HUD. It'll say which direction, or the general direction you're being shot at from. Get something in between you and that direction, because you'll most likely be safe, in most cases. However, don't just stop. It's like, it's like, it's like any old soldier just sitting there and go, oh, I'm being shot at. I'll just stand here and hopefully they'll stop shooting me. That's not a good idea. So yeah, and this is basically the demise of the KV-4 and Fiora just um, harvests all his delicious hit points. That's it. that's her second kill. So now, now we can see there's a prot, there's a T-28 over there. She pops a normal round to the side of him. And then I believe he becomes unlit. Oh no, sorry. She tries to shoot for his Coppola, which misses. Not the most accurate gun, this uh, this gun. I think it's .38 is the um, is the accuracy on this. They've both teams. It's quite balanced at the moment. It's five for four. Um, not a huge uh, amount of kills on either side. Um, she's auto aiming on that KV-13. KV-13's got some good armor, but it really doesn't stack up after. Um, after its own tier, it's kind of like, um, well, maybe one of the French tanks at their level, they, they've got decent, some of them have got decent armour early on, um, but outside their own tier, it's useless. Which is why I prefer medium tanks due to their maneuverability. And there we go, just harvesting all those um, hit points off uh, that tank. Now, as you can see, the base capture points, there's two guys on the cap, and... It's it's almost it's nearly finished. There's only about thirty to forty more, maybe forty more seconds of this game, or so. Now, Fiora wants definitely wants more kills because well, she's one of those players. She doesn't like to just waste a game like some players go. Oh, we're winning. Well, that's enough. No, she's uh, a bit like me in the sense that she likes to um, finish the game on a bang. So, watch this. This is quite amazing. So, first target is the prot 
Borderline. Dead. FV304. Ram. For most of his health. Kill. T28. Takes a hit. And then Fury finishes him off. And that's how you get a Top Gun in under 40 seconds. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Very good game there, Fury. Um, let's take it quick look at the post-game stats and then we'll move on to the second game that you have sent us yes this episode we have two games so please ch stay tuned in we'll have another one now this game was a first class mastery obviously a victory from the um capping there uh she owned herself a uh, very nice assortment of ribbons uh, the bruiser and the fire effect medal and she also got the high caliber tank sniper and the Top Gun, and Tank Sniper is actually very hard to get, I find, like I've only got a couple myself, um, maybe because I'm a bit more up and personal, although uh, at the same time she was fairly up close and personal during this game, and yeah, it's definitely very aggressive. Um, she uh, got herself six kills there, take yourselves to the team score, oops, sorry about that. Um, she was top on damage with 3,497, which is a very good effort there. Six kills and 1,118 experience. Um, a bit of a shout out to her um, counterpart in the IS-3 there with 2,800 in 22. He was having a good game until uh, Fura caught, um, until Fura's team cut the game short by capping. Although, uh, looking at this team, this team wasn't going to last much longer anyway. Um, detailed report she fired at 21 shots of which 20 hit so she only missed one 17 penetrated which means 83 bounced which is very good indeed um for a distance of um a of 300 meters or more that would have been the shots on the kv um four and also the one or two shots she managed to get into the t28 from far away um received one hit which would block block my armor not sure what that might have been that probably was the kv13 with its uh, fairly mediocre gun. She spotted only one vehicle that game. Of the six vehicles she damaged though, she killed all six of them, and she traveled a distance of one kilometer and 45. So, um, game lasted just under five minutes with three kids to spare there, and uh, she made a small profit of 12,451 12, credits. Now experience, she got a nice, um, looks like, no, there was definitely a times two. There you go. Um, she got times two and ended up with 4,193 XP with three with 166 to spend on tanks later on. Although I believe she has a fair collection of tanks. So yeah, very good um, game, Fura. And uh, now for the next replay. And for our second game, we are in the T67, um, a tank that was once very. Uh, uh, one of my personal favourites a long time ago when it was the T49. Since then, it's a, it's become rather ugly and I don't like it as much. Although I do take it out from time to time. It's one of my only non-premium tier 5 tanks that I've kept. Um, as you can see, Fiora, I believe, is on the um, European server. And you will f see... Yes, there you go. There's some... Um, uh, that looks like German, if I'm not mistaken. So yes, she's in tier 5, uh, I almost said medium tank, it does play a bit a bit like a medium tank, but it's a tank destroyer, tank de tier 5 tank destroyer for the USA. The second of them, there's two of them, there's also the M10 Wolverine, which is um, decent, although it makes up more in gun performance rather than speed and stuff like that. I think it also has better camo, although don't quote me on that one. So, she was going to go up the 1-2 um, line, I believe, but then she changed her mind and just decided to come up the sort of 8-9-0 area, which is um, my preferred area of playing, since I do play mainly medium tanks or fast, fast light tanks. And um, the, what can I say about the T-67? It does have a very good gun. It's a, it's a typical American early tier um 75 millimeter with 124 millimeters of power, I believe. 128, sorry, and 115 damage. And the um, APCR is reasonable as well, with 177 millimeters of penetration. And um, yeah, very again, as as per the last game, very aggressive. There's a T1 heavy there, um, and there's half the enemy army. Um, 
she sees the, the archery there and definitely worthwhile getting that because that could loop a shot over and absolutely destroy in one shot because it has 105mm. Just ripping apart this T1 Heavy. T1 Heavy has really bad armour and there's the rear of two KV-1s. Although they've both got derp guns so it's not a good idea to hang around with those guys there. Actually no, I uh, tell a lie, one has an 85mm. So you want to be very careful of that. There's also a Matilda, a tier 4, um, tier four medium tank. Um, my, I believe my one of my uncles drove, well, sorry, great uncles drove that during World War Two for England. So uh, that the Matilda has a bit of a um, soft spot in my heart. And I've also um, been up close to a Matilda when I went to Bovington about in 2010, um, and I do plan to go there one day. Um, again, so basically right now I'm just playing a game of chicken with his two KV-1s. Um, KV-1s can't do a lot because Furious is going to auto-aim on them. Um, and she's just also just spoiling them for her artillery. Um, she knows she's safe for a little while while that KV-1 is loading and the other one seems to have just given up and lost interest. She's also not worrying to aim, she's just aiming in the general direction, taking a shot. Um, she obviously knows how long these guys take to reload, and there you go, she, they're finished off, they're gone. And there's a Hetzer in the distance, she just aims in, pop, pop again, and there's a dead Hetzer. This, this tank's very brutal, like, like if you can play it well, um, like I can sometimes, but it just it takes a lot of work. Well, it doesn't take a lot of work. It takes a lot of work if you want to do really well. It's if you want to just sit back and snipe, then it's kind of boring. Um, the type of gameplay that you want to get with this tank is what Fury is doing here. Kind of hyper aggressive and um, basically relying on the speed. I mean, she's taken two hits so far. They've both done damage. And um, yeah, she, it's this tank's just not designed to take hits. But there you go, that was another very short game, just under four minutes. And uh, yeah, four kills. And uh, yeah, so we'll take you to the post game stats and then we'll have a quick chat about her channel. As, As you can see, Fury won that battle, that battle and she managed, managed to get a mastery badge in the T67. Um, something I have not done yet, which I probably should get onto that. She got, got the bruiser. Um, Ribbon for damaging um, multiple not injuring crew members. The, the duelist for damaging at least two members that damaged you in the battle. Fighter for four or more kills. The fighter for effect medal, and she got herself a high caliber. And we'll see why in a second. Now this tank doesn't run with crew, so she only got one thousand seven and seventy-seven XP for that. She got oh dear, I forgot to do that again. So, so, she, she got, got 2,224 damage, which is double the damage of the fellow behind her, um, and she received the highest XP out of her team, which was uh, very, very good indeed. Um, on to details, but as you can see, this team just got plastered, which um, is fun to see when you're on the uh, opposing team, which is uh, always something I like to see. So, of 27 shots fired, she only missed 5 of those, hitting with 22, and penetrating with 21, so only one of those failed to penetrate. Um, damage, um, 220, uh, sorry, 2,222. Ah, oh, God. Just, just forget that, just read that one. That one. <laughs> Sorry guys, it's really late and I'm ultra tired. Um, from a distance of 4 meters or more, it was basically the Hetzer, um, that's his health pool right there. Hetzer received 2, both penetrated, there's no armor on this thing, it's like 7 mil or something stupid like that. Um, she spotted 4 enemy vehicles, of 7 damage, vehicles she damaged, she killed 4 of those, and got 198, um, Assistance damage, damage, which is very surprising because I thought she'd get way more than that since she was locking up half that enemy flank. So obviously there was someone else sharing in that, or there wasn't enough shots popped in, so unfortunately that's the way it goes. Now this game is even shorter at under four minutes, so with about three seconds to spare until the whole um, game finished. However, she did earn a fair bit more, and this is where you can actually earn money if you uh, don't have premium tanks. Um, she, she got, got 2,000 damage, which isn't too hard, hard to get in this tank, tank um, if you play it well. Uh, she, she got 24 
thousand credits um, profit. If you're earning premium, she was like thirty eight thousand, which is a decent profit. In fact, sometimes I only get about that much profit in my premium tanks, just due to the amount of premium rounds I sometimes have to fire. But uh, yeah, that's something you should um, take a look at because T six games, this thing's still quite decent. T seven, it's still a little alright as well. Yes. Um, so yeah. Now, now, now we look at the games, games which were both very good, by the way, so thank you for sending those in, Fiora. Um, we'll take a look at her YouTube channel. So, as you can see here, this is Fiora's uh, um, YouTube channel. She uh, currently has, she uploads several videos a day, it seems. I'm not sure what she does for a day job, um, although I do know she's studying for one of her videos from a while back. Um, I've been watching her for about, oh, probably about a month now. Oh, is it a month? Oh, yeah, she probably is a month now. Um, and, yeah, I, I, I really enjoy the stuff that she puts up, a lot of tanks. Not so interested in the other stuff, although I do check it out from time to time. Um, and the, her commentary is, it's different to mine. It's it's, it's, it's it's more serious, but also a bit more jovial in a way. Um, so, and, and I quite enjoy that because it's different from Jingles and... Um, all the other people that I've uh, watched as well. So, and as you can see, I've got lots of subscriptions over here. Um, so, if you're, I'll be adding you to my uh, list of awesome uh, people to watch. Um, Fiora has a thousand or so subscribers. Actually, she's probably got more than that. Um, she's got way more than me. But yeah, if you haven't already checked out Fiora, definitely take the time to check her out. She's actually quite entertaining. So, um, with uh, that, there's not much else I can say. Uh, Really, um, it's really a pleasure watching these games and commentating on them, and I uh, hope to see more from Fiora in the future. Now, just a couple of updates in the channel. Um, I apologize for my hiatus. I have been, I, this is the story, I bought a new computer. So everyone out there who's getting lamenting over my graphics, you can all start cheering now because uh, my new computer is amazing. But, but there's a problem, problem. and, and you're probably wondering why, why has he not used his new computer for these videos? videos. I'll, I'll tell you why. why. It broke. Um, basically, basically, the uh, video card died, died. Uh, which, which means, means I can't really play. play. <laughs> I really, really, really can't play without a video card. card. So I'm, I'm back on my laptop, laptop and it's been with the uh, people I bought it through, PC Case Gear, for the last two or so weeks. The problem is. They've, they've replaced, replaced the video card, card three times and it keeps breaking, so they're not sure what's going on. So right now I've spent a lot of money on the new computer, which I was very pleased about. Uh, well, big thank you to the wife, by the way. And I can't play it, so you can tell, you can probably tell from my voice how frustrated I am that I have a brand new computer waiting for me somewhere. Um, and I've, had, I've actually used it, it was awesome for the two, two days, days that I used it for. Um, but yes, I am really looking forward to getting that back and I will soon be sent putting up much look better looking videos than I currently have been. I'm even thinking of um, using a different video encoder rather than Movie Maker. Uh, so, and I'm also hoping to have a more regular um, timetable. So hopefully I'll be able to put out a video at least once a week rather than once every couple of months. Which is getting on my nerves because I keep forgetting to, well, not forgetting more, just not having time. I'm going to try and make some time and get you guys up to one video a, while, one video a week, and then I'll eventually increase it to two a week and hopefully three a week. And that's probably where I'll stop at three a week because having wife, kids, work, it's a lot of work. So, And also, I'm going to play games to get you uh, video feedback. So, uh, feedback um, yeah. Basically, I'll be, I'm going to be looking at doing uh, at least one live game every week, maybe two, which means you may get a fourth video, maybe that during that week, but it will be just a live game, it will just be me talking um, while I'm playing, so it won't be that exciting, although it might be a bit exciting. Um, yeah. So, please tune out, uh, please tune out, please tune in to Fiora's uh, channel and uh, my... I've, I've sent, sent her, her two replays, replays which, which I found quite entertaining, entertaining. Um, and, and one was a bit of a nail biter for me, so uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I uh, hope you guys find it entertaining, but please tune to her channel and watch those, and then come back to me and watch more of the live videos, just kidding, Viewer. Um, 
Anyway, anyway guys, hope you enjoyed your time watching this video, and I'll see you next time. time.